homemade soaps and I put it in this. This is only to wash dishes. And so I fill this up with water and it already has the soap in it. So I work doing that. So that really helps me a lot. Heating the water does get tiresome sometimes, but everybody has something in their life that they don't really enjoy doing. And dishes, I don't mind them that bad, but heating the water up does make it kind of burdensome. But you know, I think about it all the time. At least I have water and I'm thankful for that. A lot of people ask me, what am I going to do when I get older? You know, how am I going to cope with all of this? Well, I don't worry about that because I just take it one day at a time. And as long as I can handle all of the workload, then I enjoy it and I'm grateful for all that I have. And someday if I can't, then we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So the water is heating up. So what I do is I fill my sink with partly cold water. And remember, I got this at the thrift store and I use that as a drying mat. Somebody had a good idea. They said about putting tea towels and sewing them on the inside. Yeah, that is a great idea, but this girl can't sew. I can't sew and it's kind of sad because my mom was an avid sewer. My mom could sew. She sewed all of my own clothing. My mom sewed her clothing and my clothing. I didn't pick up that trait. But that's okay. We all have strong points and weaknesses and trust me, I have a lot of weaknesses in my life. <laughs> Sewing is just a small minor part. There's a lot of things I can't do. But then there's some things that I can do. So we focus on the positive, remember? And we don't focus on the negative. You, by now, a lot of you are wondering, why did I get rid of the dishwasher? Well, it's twofold. First of all, it stopped working. And I kind of took that as a sign. And also, I'm really trying to lower the, my electric bill. Because we really want to try to cut back on some more expenses that we have. And even though my electric bill isn't high compared to what most people would say, we are at a time right now where we really have to cut back even more. And so it stopped working and I'm really reducing my electric and I'm trying to cut out on some other bills as well. You know, we don't know what tomorrow brings and my husband, I really would like to get to the point where he can work even less and less and less and that my son will take over what my husband has been doing. That is our goal, is eventually that my son would be able to take over and then my husband could retire. And it's getting to the point in my husband's life where it's getting very difficult for him to work even the hours that he's working now. So that means either we gain more money or we reduce our expenses. And for us, it's easier to reduce our expenses. People talk about me and wondering why I don't work away from home. Working away from home was something that I had never been brought up doing. I think it's amazing how women work away from home. I, I think that it's just something that is so strong in their character. Some, some women don't have to, some women enjoy it. And I think that is amazing, but for my culture and my lifestyle, staying at home was what we did. My husband likes me to be at home. and so. I stay at home and I try to cut costs and as you know I'm on YouTube and so that income really helps supplement us at a time when we could use it. And so God gives us all of these things in our life and I do really believe that he gave me my YouTube channel to really help us. You know, we never know. We never know where we're going to be next year from now or and that's something that we just strive to do our very best where we're at in life. And I'm so blessed by having all of you as my friends and having all of you as my mentors and you're helping me in saving more money. You're helping me in so many ways. And so I don't have the dishwasher and that is great because I'm learning to just go back to simple ways of living. And even though the dishwasher really did help me, 
when it stopped working, I realized, you know what? If I do my dishes a little at a time, it's really not a big deal. And plus, it's just going back to my old-fashioned way of life. And that's what my channel is about. So, there's where the story is about that. <laughs> So I want to show you something that I was able to get this month. Now when you use my Amazon storefront or you use my Amazon links, I get some credit. So I bought this dish pan and why is this dish pan so special? Well, now my water goes into a bucket and I recycle all of my gray water. So I still have to haul it out but I'll show you why this dish pan is so special. Instead of having to lift it up and dump it out, it has a drain at the bottom of it. And I will share with you the link of it in case somebody's interested in it. But that's what it looks like. And then you just put the piece in and you can fill it up again. They're really neat. I never knew there was something like that until I started searching. And this really helps me out. See, little things like that really are a blessing in my life. And I like showing you what you do helps me. So even if it's small things like a dish pan, still, I think you would enjoy knowing where all of my credits go at the end of the month when you purchase things on Amazon. Well, like my mama would say, it's Wednesday. And Wednesday means reading up day. Redding up day means going through your house and just straightening everything out. It's not a deep clean, it's just a straightening of everything. So I redded up everything in the house and everything looks just nice. And on Fridays is when I do my deep cleaning. But Wednesdays is redding up day. So how was everybody's day today? You know, the other week, I was so unmotivated. We all have days like that. Some days where we are motivated and other days we're not. I come to realize that's part of life. The humdrum of life. It affects us all on different levels. Sometimes I think that my Lyme's disease from 2014 affects me yet. I don't know. They say once you have limes, you have it in your body forever. In 2014, I had a tick bite. And within a couple days, I had the bullseye rash. And what happened was, the bacteria in the tick bite actually caused me to have a potential life-threatening condition. I received hives all over my body. The hives were in my inside my body and outside my body. The hives were in my mouth and my nose and my ears. It was a very scary, very scary thing for me. And sometimes I think that my pain I get is from that. I don't know. My mom always told me, everyone has a thorn in their side. And that's true. It's on days where we're feeling really well, then we just need to really work. That way on days we don't feel so good, we can take it easier. Well, now we're gonna go and dehydrate these. Did you know that I'm able to make videos like these because of viewers like you? And for that, I really thank you. Also, you're going to find all of the videos in the last week. I'm going to put them at the end of this video just in case that you missed them. I know not everybody can watch my videos every single day. So here you go.